Hello Travelers people, Enrico here. In this video I want to explain you the AWS SNS service. I'm gonna go through the main features and main concepts of the SNS. I'm gonna show you practical examples on how you can integrate this service inside your application. And I'm also gonna show you through the AWS console how to create your first topic. So let's get rolling. The key concept of the AWS SNS are the producers and consumers. What are the two main actors in this service? The producers communicate with the subscribers asynchronously, sending messages to a topic. You can think about a topic as like a pipe where you push your messages. The consumers are gonna subscribe to the SNS topic and receive the published messages. The consumers or subscribers will subscribe to the SNS topic and receive the published messages using one of the uh, support endpoints, which could be Lambda, it could be an SQS queue, or it can even be like an HTTP endpoint. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you an example later. Topic is the logical access point and communication channel. You can think about it as the actual pipe where the messages are pushed and where the messages are consumed by the consumers. There are two main use cases when you use SNS. The first one is uh, application to application. So you send the messages to the SNS topic and the messages are read by an application, which could be uh, a Lambda function, for example, or application to person. With person, we mean uh, sending messages through SMS, through email, or a as a push notification. With this concept in mind, let's try to put it in this image. So the publisher is anything that can publish messages inside the SNS service, more specifically into the SNS topic, and it can be any API on your service or in other AWS services such as Lambda. Amazon SNS is composed by topics, which is where we actually publish the messages and the topic is gonna be responsible to push the messages to the subscribers. Before publishing the messages, there is also, you can add a messaging filter. I'm gonna explain how to do it later. Decide where and which subscribers should receive the messages. In case of an error, like it's not possible to deliver the message to one of the subscribers, or it's like a timeout, we can even configure a dead letter queue in order to be able to not lose any messages. The subscribers can be a lot of uh, AWS services. The main ones are Lambda, Amazon SQS, Amazon Kinesis, HTTPS, Endpoint, any of them, email, SMS, push notification, anything. I'm gonna go through two, example, two practical examples in a minute. So the subscribers are gonna consume the messages from the topic and you, you can put as many subscribers as you want. The service is fully managed by AWS. Let's see now an example with the application to application use case. So let's say you have e-commerce website where your users can buy products. When you when a user buy a product, you want to trigger some action in other services. So, so you can integrate an SNS topic in order to do that. Every time there is a buy product action, you can publish actually a message to, the, to an SNS topic and the SNS topic is gonna ingest this message and send it to the subscribers. As you can see here, the consumers or subscribers can be multiple. In this case, it can be a nebulous Lambda function that can store the uh, details of the order into a DynamoDB database or into a SQL database. Then you can also push the same message into a queue in order to be able to consume the message from the queue to, I don't know, analytic service, for example. And you can also publish the same message to be consumed by a third party API, like you have maybe a third party login API, or you have a third party, I don't know, SMS API, something like that. The idea here is that once you publish the message into the topic, you can add or remove subscribers as you like. You can even argue to say like, why I don't publish the message directly from, directly from my server here, for, so from my API to the uh, consumers that are need? Well, there are a few reasons. First of all, you, you will need to configure different interfaces based on the uh, subscriber or consumer, because if you're publishing to an AWS Lambda, you need a certain interface. You have, if you're publishing to SQS, you need another one. If you're publishing to a third party API, you may need different interfaces. So every time you add or remove uh, subscribers, you need to develop a new interface. By using SNS topic, you publish the message into the SNS topic. You don't care about the consumers because you can add and remove and configure new, new consumers independently based on the use case that you need and you, you don't have to modify anything on your server. 
Another reason is publishing messages sequentially. So let's say you have to publish two messages to an SQS, to an AWS Lambda service. It's difficult because you, what happens if the first message fails? Are you going to fall back to the second one and then retry the first one? How are you going to handle the sequential error failing? Using SNS topic, you don't care again about that because the uh, SNS topic is going to handle the retry uh, attempt and it's going to do it that for you. So there are a few advantages that are very, very useful in, in using SNS topic as the uh, publish and subscribe service. Let's now move to the application to person use case, which is where basically the consumers are users that needs like an SMS or push notification or email notification. So let's say again, you have e-commerce when every time you buy a product, you want to send a SMS and email to your customers, or even you want to send like, you know, like an offer to your customers. You can, you can create a topic called, I don't know, Black Friday offers, and you can send the message to the topic and the topic is going to send the email out or SMS out to all the subscriber of this topic. Again, with the, with one uh, SNS topic, you can have multiple subscribers. So it's a very useful way to publish an action to N subscribers. In the case of the person, uh, as a consumer, you may need like additional configuration because you need to apply with local regulation of SMS. I'm going to show you like an example directly from the AWS console on how to create the uh, topic both for the person and application endpoints. Now I want to add a little bit of details, a little bit of color on the features of the SNS service. There are two different topics that you can create, the standard and the FIFO. FIFO is first in, first out. So the FIFO one ensure that the messages are delivered into the same order they are pushed into the topic, whereas the standard one doesn't ensure the ordering of the published messages to the consumers. Another additional feature is messages filtering. So when you receive, when you publish a message to a, a topic, you can decide to put a filter saying like you want to, you want certain subscribers to just receive a certain type of message. You can set like a type of the message and, and build like a filter policy, which is really just a simple JSON file when you define which messages should be received by WOM subscribers. The last concept I want to explain in terms of the SNS is the message durability. So what happens if there is a failure, how the fail, how the retry policy works and how you can handle the failed messages. One last concept I want to explain about the AWS SNS service that first of all, this is like an AWS managed service. So you don't need to worry about storing the messages on different locations. This is all handled by AWS and the published messages are stored across multi geographically separated service and data centers. What happens if one of the subscriber is not available when you publish the message. So the SNS runs a delivery retry policy. How does it work? The delivery retry policy basically is it's going to try different logic in order to deliver the message. So the first one, if the first attempt fails, it tries to do another one immediately with no delay at all. If the second attempt fails, it's going to start a back off logic. So it's going to try to incrementally retry the messages like after three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds. If you're interested on how these algorithms works i'm gonna leave the link in the description there is like a very nice explanation on the aws documentation but then what happens if really is, there is not possible at all to deliver this message to the subscribers what will happen is that you can configure a dead letter queue which is uh, an sqs queue where all the not delivered messages are gonna be uh, pushed and then from there you can decide what to do you can even purge the queue manually or you can have like a lambda service who's going to read the messages into the queue and save it i don't know in s3 or dynamo it's really up to you and that is all in terms of you know theory about sns the next thing that i want to show you is how to create your first topic from the aws console all right i log into the aws console i type here sns and go into the menu so this is like the first screen and we should go here we like can see the dashboard so for this region i don't have any topics and any subscriptions what i want to do is well first of all i'm going to show you the menu so you have topics here subscriptions here you have different uh, uh, views based on what you select and here you have a different let's say group which is the mobile it's a different process for the sms because you need like additional information in order to send sms to a number depending also on the country where you're sending the sms 
this. But let's keep it simple and go on the topic menu. From here, you want to create the first topic. And as you can see, the first thing you have to, to choose is the type. So fit for first in, first out. As we said, the ordering is strictly preserved. There is only one uh, message delivery. So there is no risk of having double uh, message delivery. The throughput is limited to 300 publishes for, per second. And with what has with the standard one, we don't have a limit. And then there are like uh, subscription protocols. You can also subscribe with the with an SQS FIFO queue. So with FIFO uh, type, you cannot subscribe with using Lambda. You cannot add a subscriber as Lambda. So in this case, we're going to select standard since, since it's like the uh, the standard one. Yeah. And also it's like best effort, at least once message delivery and has more subscribers uh, available, which could be Lambda, HTTP, SMS, anyway, anything. So here I'm going to call it the name, my first topic. Uh, display name is more when you use SMS, so you can show your um, SMS name when you receive the SMS. One important option is the encryption. So as we as we know, the um, SNS provides in transient encryption by default. So when you have messages in transient, they are encrypted by default. The thing is that at rest, the encryption is not uh, enabled by default. If you need encryption at rest as well, since it's like when you publish the message into, into the topic, it can stay it can stay in the topic for seconds, minutes, even hours. It depends on like uh, it depends on when the consumers is gonna are gonna read the messages. So if you need the encryption, you need to click here enable encryption, and you can use the KMS and I don't know, choose a key here. I'm using like default key and it's going to use the um, keys that I have on my AWS account. In this case, since it's just an example, I'm going to disable the encryption because I'm not worried about encrypting messaging. Here you can uh, you can set the retry policy. Here you can set your custom retry policy using an HTTP uh, or HTTPS endpoint. You can choose the number of retries, delay, minimum delay, and maximum delay. In this case, I'm going to leave the default one. And here you can set up the logging. I'm going to create topic. And as you can see, we created the first topic. All right. So in order to have uh, a more complete use case, I'm going to make another video showing like, again, from this first topic, how to add subscriptions, how to handle the delivery try policy, and how to see the messages delivered to the services. So stay tuned. Let me know if you have uh, any questions, put it in the comment. I'm going to try to reply to all of you. And thanks again for watching. Cheers.